It had to be tentacles. It could be, I don't know, a dream about a wardrobe filled with bananas. Bananas? Bananas. That's the best you could come up with, Zoe. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Cthul. Cthul, who? <gasps> the horror! Yeah, you're going bonkers. That's one disturbed wardrobe. Okay, let's see I'm what this little... this is not my dream. Oh, what the... Ooh. I'd be absolutely terrified. That is one scary picture on the wall. Sheesh. Don't make a sound. It will hear you. Who will? The monster in the closet. It will hear you and eat us both. She's scared oh, enough already, poor girl. I need to be careful. She needs reassurance, not more than <laughs> to be scared. <laughs> Why would I want She's to scare scared, her? She's scared, but she needs to understand how oh, dangerous okay. the dream machine is. She mm. needs to be scared of what will happen if she keeps using... She's scared mm. enough already, poor girl. I need to be careful. She needs reassurance. I'm going to reassure her. To be scared of. I promise it won't hurt you. You swear? I swear. I won't let it. But you need to get back home. I can't find my way. The way back is through there, through the wardrobe. What? I can't go in there. I'm it not going there. Be alive. Not if we destroy it first. Do you have the key? I don't know where it is. My mum locks it every night and tells me to behave. Or shall I lock it and let the monster have me? Oh. Great parent. That's terrible. Don't worry. I'll find the key. And whatever's in there, it's no match for me, I promise. Are you like a superhero? Something like that. What do you think of my costume? It's really cool. <laughs> okay. It had to be tentacles. Okay, sure. It couldn't said be that. not peeking inside that thing's head. I've made that mistake in the past, never again. Okay, so that's what this icon means. It's like I look into their mind. Okay, interesting. Light could work, but I don't think there's anything to draw on there. That thing is darkness through and through. Okay, so this means it would need light. To come from somewhere else. Okay, and this. Oh, okay, well I slowed it down. I don't really know why, but I would want to do that, but I did. Uh, let's see. Oh. She must be terrified. Poor girl. Alright, so this is, means look at him. Whoever wired her to a dream machine should be locked away for a very long time. Yeah, I agree. Without me, she'll be trapped here. She needs my help. Okay, let's help her. Uh, let's look into her mind. She... she had a light. Oh, she dropped it. It rolled away. She doesn't know where it is. She won't go looking for the light herself. She's afraid of the slithering things in the dark. Hey, who can blame her? Okay. Um... Did I do anything? No? She... She had a lot. Okay. She won't go looking for the Can't believe a mother would do this to her child. People are horrible. Am I supposed to go looking for the light? Is that what I'm supposed to be doing? She says she'd like dropped it. Underneath the bed. Let's go look under the bed. There we go. I'm gonna find her light. Oh, it's too dark. Can't see anything under there. Well, I'm gonna light it up. Bingo. That's what I do. Bringer of light. Emissary torch. of electricity. The mighty torch. We call those flashlights here in the United States. Torch. How many can I give to the girl? Okay, I guess I'll take it. Alright. Now what? Now what do I do? Ooh, look, I stopped the uh Bananas. That's the best you could come up with, Zoe. Right. Not peeking inside that thing's head. 
I've okay. made that mistake in the past. Light, yeah, oh. good idea, but not oh, from that. Okay. So if I shine lights on it, light on it, it stops. All right. Can't believe a mother would do this to her child. People are horrible. Um, what do I do now? Oh, hey, look, a key. I want that. Got something. A key. A key. Okay, cool. I got a key. Watch this. I want to open this bad oh. boy up. I take it back. Totally uncool. It's hiding. Stupid, smart tentacle thingy. <laughs> Too quick for me. What? Wait a minute. Uh, this. Do I not want the key yet? Key to the wardrobe. If I stick my hand in there, I could lose it. Okay. And I don't care if it's just a dreaming hand and I can probably grow it back. <laughs> Still, too freaky. Okay, so what do we want to do here? I want to slow it down for some reason. Oh, okay, so the light destroys it. Cool. That is cool. Alright. Okay, now I'm going to open this bad boy up. Watch me work. Oh, what? Locked. Oh. And locked dream wardrobes don't open without dream keys. Here comes one right There's now. There's logic to it. Here comes. Um, key, wardrobe. Am I not close enough or something? Let me see, let me get closer. Key, wardrobe. What's going on? Why can't I use a key? Key. Wardrobe. Okay, maybe something else has to happen first. I have a key. Why isn't it working? Key. Wardrobe. What the? Do I need to talk to her first or something? I can't believe a mother would do this to her child. Alright. People are horrible. Oh, okay. I was dragging it before. Instead, you click on it and just click it. Don't get too close. It will take you. See, it's gone. You're safe now. Thank you. But I don't know how to get back home. I don't know where my mummy is. She's on the other side of the wardrobe, waiting for you. It's... it's scary. Whatever was in there, it's gone now, I promise. Come on. I wonder what would have happened if I would have scared her instead of reassured her. Do you her. use a dream machine? Mum makes me. Oh. She says it keeps me occupied. Ooh. And she has time to play with hers. Oh my. The next time she does that, you need to say no. She won't like that. Maybe not, but you tell her it's dangerous, that it gives you nightmares. And if she refuses to listen, tell someone else. Or scream, fight back, run away, just... Never ever use a dream machine. I could tell Daddy. He doesn't live with us, but I talk to him all the time. You do that. Now go through and you'll wake up again. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, there you go. What's your name? Zoe. And remember, no dream time. I might not be able to find you again. This has to stop. Alright, I get it. Dream machines are bad, I get it. That has been established. That has been, well, established. Hey, what's this guy? Let's go take a look at him and see what he's got going on. The Vagabond. The Vagabond. Master of the story time. Sort of. Sort of, huh? Alright, Mr. Vagabond. He's a hard man to get hold of, the Vagabond. I've been calling him for the longest time. Hmm. I wonder why he's here now. The Vagabond. Finally. I need to have a serious face-to-face -face with that man. It's funny she said face to face when he's facing away. The Vagabond. Master of the story time. Sort of. 
What's going on out there? More and more people are getting caught in loops. I can't keep up. I thought the dream machines weren't dangerous anymore. I thought we took care of that. If not, then... Hello, Zoe. Sorry. Yeah. Hi. Look, I'm trying to help them all, and... and... It's too hard. There are too many. And they're nightmares. They're getting worse. You have to go home. All I once had is gone forever. There's no home to go back to, and... And I don't want to be the person I used to be. I have a purpose here. I can make a difference. If I do wake up, I'll be... Lost. Home. For, for better or worse, this is my home now. This is who I am. The person I used to be is, is gone forever. Oh. Whatever's out there, it's no longer my life. You seem to be the same choice, really. I'm not going home. There's nothing there for me. There's no one. There's no one. <clears throat> Besides, I'm needed here. What will happen if I just abandon them? Their night terrors are symptoms of a larger disease. As long as the disease itself is alive and spreading, those people will keep coming back. But... I'm... I'm not ready to wake up, to face myself again. I'm scared of losing what little I have left. If, if there's a choice, I, I choose to stay. I'm in control here. I don't have to fear anything or anyone. What's the point? There are no second chances. Every choice leads to the same outcome, and my actions have no real consequences, so why bother? Huh. Uh, I wonder how much it matters which one of these I choose. I was going to choose Powerless, because I thought she'd say something about, you know, how can I, you know, one person make a difference, but there are no second I don't really like what she said. I like this one better. I'm afraid. I can't do it. Oh. The dream is being tainted. The world is getting sicker. They all need you. Isn't it enough that I'm making a difference here in story time? I'm helping those who are lost and trapped. Who else could possibly need my help? Mm. This is where I belong. I'm in control here. Out there, I have no power. I failed once already. I made a huge mess of things. What can I possibly do to change things now? He's asking me to help, but I don't even know what's happening out there. I don't understand why I'm needed. I did everything I could already. I just want to be left alone. I don't think she wants to be left alone. She seems to want to help people. This is where I belong. Yeah, let's do that. What difference can I make? There is a great power within you. The power to set things right in your world and all others. You saved your reality once, Zoe. This time, all the worlds, all of story time, all of time is at stake. When you wake up, this will all be a dream. And that dream will quickly fade. Soon, it will be forgotten entirely. Unless you fight to remember it. What do I need to remember? You must open your heart and mind to messages from those who know what to do. You don't know? I'm not omniscient, Zoe. Much is hidden from me. I can see all the threads as they are woven. But the greater weave itself is too large for me to see. I'm too close. And even here, some of the past is obscured. This bothers me. I believe someone may have clouded my memory by design. An enemy, a shadow with tendrils into story time and elsewhere. All the more important then for you to remember. Hmm. He's asking me to make a choice, but it doesn't feel like that choice matters. At the end of the day, I'm just playing by someone else's rules. No matter what I say, the outcome is the same. I don't like that. This is my choice to make, even if I don't know the consequences. I guess you never do. You just do what you feel is right. If there's even a tiny chance that my choice will matter, I can't say no. I like that one better. Will it even matter? If you stay here much longer, you may never be able to leave. And then everyone's story ends. 
all the people who love you, all the people you love, and everyone else, past, present, and future, torn out of the story like pages from a book. Okay, so I go back, face the world, face myself. I have to believe it's worth the battle. I'm comfortable here because I don't have to make any choices. I just react, touch people's lives without fear of consequence. Why does it have to be me? It feels really unfair after all I went through the last time around. I don't know if I have a choice. I just wish the choice was left to someone else. Someone stronger and better. Someone with faith in themselves. I like this one okay. So, what do you need me to do? I want you to wake up and remember. And then, I want you to save... Save the world. I did such a bang-up job with that the last time around. You changed everything. That story had a beginning and an end. But it was also only the first half of your story. How do I wake up? There is a door. Find the door and unlock it, and you will wake up. If it's locked, where's the key? You will know. I'm not trying to be cryptic, <laughs> but I don't have the key. You do. Within you. I'll just have to trust you on that. Will I see you again? If all goes well, at the end of your journey, when your story is complete, you will see me again. One last time. That sounds final. But yeah, okay. I'll um go. Find the key. Unlock the door. Remember everything. Save the world. Write my story. Return for epilogue. Very hero's journey. You will do fine, Zoe Castillo. I have faith in you. Maybe bigger, bolder words are in order, but they would amount to the same. Good luck. Hmm. Okay. All right. Back where I started. Okay, uh, so apparently there's a door we're supposed to find, and then a key to get into the door. Interesting. Uh, we will search for that next time, as it is break time for me. Um, you know, off to maybe a little bit of a slow start, but I am intrigued. Um, I, I, <laughs> so many times during this little play part, I kept thinking to myself, who thinks this stuff up? It's just amazing. Uh, the graphics are really good. I really like the graphics, and uh, I think that the voice acting is pretty good. Is t pretty good too. So, looking forward to continuing it, and I hope you'll join me when I continue again next time. So, uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.